This is Building Science. Last episode, we looked at the science behind the Combined Heat and Power Unit, or CHP, and how the technology can deliver heat and electricity to your home or commercial structure, on or off the grid. Here's a look at the natural resource that runs that unit, propane. Propane LP gas is a fantastic fuel. It's an anywhere fuel, go anywhere fuel. You can heat your water, you can provide space heating, you can cook on it and close drying. But now that we are adding power generation to that mix, it really is exciting. We can provide and be the primary energy source for a home regardless of where it's located. Blossom Gas was started in 1951 and we're in the propane or LP gas business in the southeastern and mid-Atlantic states serving residential, commercial, industrial accounts as well as providing alternative fuels to fleet customers. There are many, many businesses that are beyond the natural gas lines. I know in our company, just within the one county where our stores are, we have over 1.1 million all-electric homes where natural gas is not available. So there are millions and millions of homes around the country would be a perfect application for this type of equipment that are beyond the natural gas lines to run on propane. The partnership with Yanmar is, is pretty important to you. Talk to me a little bit about that. Blossom and Gas has done a search globally for the best micro CHP unit. The experience and the, the technical expertise that Yanmar has really attracted us and it gave us a high degree of confidence. Our propane engines, because propane does burn more efficiently than other fuels, we're able to capture that energy and turn it into electricity and heat. So if you use the highest efficiency fuel plus a high efficiency durable engine that was built to last and run with low maintenance intervals, how can you lose? We are fond of saying we're a bit of a stealth fuel, and if people really understood the benefits of propane gas, uh, the choice would be very clear. Part of your store here and, and your mantra is the future. Because of that, you guys decided to use a CHP unit here to power this facility. That's right. We have a 14,000 square foot facility here that's run by a combination of solar power on our roof and a micro combined heating and power unit. Uh, it can generate 90% currently, but up to 100% if we select to do so. We think the efficiency improvements, the environmental reductions, 75% uh, less carbon and harmful emissions versus a centralized coal-fired power plant are really a good option and we're starting to see some interest from our commercial customers in particular, but also we hope to see residential dwellings uh, adopt on-site combined heating and power units in the future as well. What's the environmental impact from this unit? So from an environmental standpoint, uh, Blossman saves about 2.6 tons of CO2 per year by using this Jeez. over the grid in its place at the times this operates. But that's actually very low because you could easily- That's low? That's very low. You could actually triple the capacity um, for this unit and increase your CO2 savings by a lot. This is a proven technology. There are hundreds of thousands of commercial buildings and residential dwellings in Asia running on this type of equipment. It's not an experiment anymore. From a propane distributor, healthcare facility, data center, or home, the CHP technology can be utilized in many building segments or neighborhoods around the country. Next, we look at the installation and maintenance of the CHP for the homeowner or facility manager. For Building Science, I'm Adam Grubb.